What's cooking? Good looking. Welcome back to the very last final bit of the Lego Voltron adventure. So most recently, of course, we just built the uh, giant black lion, who is a very large lumpy lad. He do be thick. So we finally reached the point where we can turn these completed lions into actual components of actual Voltron. But first we have one more bag of stuff to contend with, so let's fire up the final instruction booklet and see what's to be did. God, that's some cool ass cover art. I do love that. Oh, I didn't realize it was called a different thing in Japan. Japanese Beast King Go Lion. There you go. I'm learning. And we have character bios of all the Voltron squad. Our oh, little family photo. Okay, so this must be the guy who designed this thing. Leandro Lendi Teag. He's a software engineer who loves giant robots and Lego. I feel like we'd get on. Oh my god, look at this little timeline of iterations. I want the tiny baby version. You can get that in a blind bag, surely. God, it really does kind of bring home how good the final version is. Like these prototypes, like they're all acceptable, but the final version is so much cooler. Anyway, let's get this bitch nailed, shall we? Bag number 16. I think this is just sword time and shield time. The personal effects of Voltron. I am slightly surprised that they haven't got like minifigs of the uh, of the team, but then they would have had to make it so they could put the, uh, it would have been a whole other thing, screw it. It would have made it twice as difficult to build and probably twice as expensive. So we'll, we'll let it go. I'm quite satisfied with what this thing actually is. Okay, so we have two demi circles, which need to splat together with a big old square. Bam. Uh, loads of hinges. I can't really get this guy out of the way, he's too big. I am mildly in awe of the size of that lad. Four of these roundy ones on each corner. Rather, we need one on each of the four corners. You know what I mean, come on. Two of the little clip fellas on each side of the square. I feel like I must say once again, thank you to Barry for making this happen. You really didn't need to do this. This was an astonishing gift. And I certainly hope I've done an acceptable job of the videos. I'm in two minds as to whether this has worked. Let me know what you think. Has this been terrible? Has this been the most boring thing of all time? Anyway, we're working on some kind of elaborate sewer cover right here. The curvy bling stripe. There he goes. Curvy bling stripe. That's my stripper name. That's gotta be like, a custom designed bit of Lego. I can't imagine any other application for this particular piece. Are they allowed to do that on Lego ideas? It's like, yeah, it'll work, but only if we invent a bunch of bits. Pow! One of those is wrong, that one. That one's wrong. There we are. Little cross right here. Okay, we have to build this and then slap it on. So, little clown nose in the middle and surround that with little sunshine arches. And then we just bash this on here like so. God, that's cool. <laughs> I think at this point we're giving him some way to hold it. That thing? That just pushes on the middle. And we need another one of these. That, I think, goes right here. So that's gonna be a little uh, little hilt. Maybe it plugs into one of the, uh, one of the lion gobs. And a couple of curves to hold that on. I am the mighty blacksmith, crafting weapons. <laughs> these fabulous silver fins. We need four of these. Damn, what is this thing? It's like a mega shuriken. Bunch of little triangles. We just pop that on a little grabby claw and clip that on as shown. Pow. Heavens above, that is some weaponry. That is some ice. You go over there, please, in the armory area, which is also a bar. Mmm, old water. And finally, the final component, we're doing the sword. The sword of whatever. Omens, destiny, cat. The sword of cat. Working on a blade. And that goes on the underside right there. Pop a little outward one on the end. And four of these to do something. I guess there's gonna be further blades that pop out of there. What about this is subtle anyway? Little tube on the end there, which I guess is gonna be for handle duties. Bunch of these little one nub in having ass bitches. And a square with a cross in the middle. Is that what I'm looking for? No, it's this whole thing. There's the square with the hole, in, but it's attached to this massive sword bit. Okay, I get it. Pow! Couple of these tiny fellas right down at the end. Oh, it's these, right. So those just pop on here, give it a sort of hilty look. Couple of blue ass right angle thingies. And now loads of small accoutrements. And uh, is that gonna go there? What have I missed here? Something's gone awry. Oh, I've done all of this one. <laughs> oh God. All right, I'm gonna have to move everything down one space. Bear with me. Okay, where were we? So that 
goes here. <laughs> Successfully this time, please. Big, long, a silver streak. Pow! And two tiny uh, Ridge Meisters right here. How many mistakes have I made on this thing? You know what? It's, it's fairly forgiving. If you make a mistake on a Lego set, you can very easily remedy it. A couple of these just to round off that. There you go, give that some style. A couple of little red greeblies on here, just for some flavor and a pointy bit. A little single piece roof, that goes right there. Pow! This is the most complicated ass sword. Got a little hinge on here. What on earth for? This is like a, like a tailplane for a Boeing or something. We're just popping these up the top, like it's no big deal. There we are. And that looks fairly majestic. Another one right there, please. And he needs a little capital D curver right there. And one of those. Up the bum end then, we just gotta pop this in here. Little pipey for holding. And that needs a small thingamabob on it. Followed by a longer thingamabob, followed by another little joint thingy. Jesus Christ. I feel like I could bludgeon somebody with this. And we need to make a little pommel. I've learned more than one bit of a sword now. <laughs> I'm aware of what a pommel is, also a hilt, and, and, the Cutty McStab length. Cutty McStab length, that's what I'd name my sword. If I were a warrior of old. Looks like a little, uh, little cosmos, doesn't it? Or like Pathfinder. A do -do 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 -do. You gotta get up pretty early in the morning to find something I won't do a doody doo with. And we have a giant cover. Whoa. That is fairly epic, I think. We've finished building stuff. <gasps> it's time to combine the cats. I actually can't wait. Oh, I'm a little bit excited. Okay, let's do it. Here goes. Okay, composure, please. So step one, we've got to fold up the tail. And with the legs, it looks like we need to fold these in towards the uh, central bulkhead as far as they'll go. And then just snap the back ones back and the front ones in. So that these are like vertical and these are totally flat. I have been tinkering with these a little bit. I'm aware of the older uh, foldy up foot scenario. And there he clicks. Click, 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 click. Cat, that was a cat that went click. And now these gotta fold back. So we've got a bit of clearance. That is one meaty ass shin. Blue fella is much the same. I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> Tail comes in please and snap him up. There it is, legs. They go like a dat. So these need to be facing upwards again. Yeah, okay. Because when you do that stage, the legs move too, and then they're in the wrong position. <laughs> Come on. It's so basic. One step closer. And presently, I'm being instructed to do the large lad. Oh, bother. I'm Winnie the freaking poo. There we go, fold these out, if you don't mind. These come around like that. And the tail just folds up real nice. And now we have to snap off the legs, okay. Yeah, come on, and on that way. Yeah, and on. Straighten out them paws, please. And these fronties need to fold down like this. I think that's right. I imagine we have to pop these off and swap them around. We do, yeah. And these go back on with the blue on the blue and the little red stripe here, the little, the little red chevron facing downward. And that goes like this, come on. There it is. And this side, likewise, we got red, we got red, and uh, in they go. Yeah, look at this, nice smooth shoulders. So I'm being instructed to leave the head till the end for fun. All right, that's fine, I'm down. <laughs> oh, really quite exciting. Extreme leg penetration, get in there. Oh, damn, are we on? We are on, and your mate, in you go. <laughs> we're on, we're on, are we on? We are on, heavens above. Right, red boy. Just compact these legs down real good. Good, good, good. And uh, we have one arm apparently. Oh, flip. So that's gonna be the joint. And we've got this incredibly complicated arm assembly from before, you remember that thing? When I was like, ooh, degree in engineering. And that is just gonna clip in there real easy. Ooh, we've got a leg down. We've got a leg down and a pour off. Oh, Christ. <laughs> and the last bit, do I even need instructions for this bit? Fold this boy up. Oops. 
So I'm just I'm getting a little bit ham-fisted because I'm excited. Oh god, I can't even get this guy in the shot anymore. <laughs> He's too tall to get on the shot. Come on. Okay, that was uh, unexpected and violent. We did lose a leg very briefly, but he's back and we're gonna pop him on and uh, we're gonna be all done. Oh God, here goes. And are we there? Apart from the face. Come on, we didn't need to do the face. Are we ready for this? Oh, oh, one face and one hat. And that, I think we can call a Voltron. Oh my word. Oh, wow. Those are some heavy ass shoulder joints. <laughs> and the sword, I think we have to pop out the middle one. And we can install this into one of the lion hands. Yeah, look at that. And the shield thing, I reckon we can just pop it right in his hand like so. And that. I have to say, is the most spectacular thing I've ever seen made out of Lego. What an absolute majesty. That is extremely big and extraordinarily good. <laughs> so what can we do? He's got a shoulder swivel. He's got an elbow. He's got a wrist. He got a little head swivel. Beautiful. Uh, not a lot of leg movement because of the uh, complicated strata down there, but that's okay. He's a goddamn Lego model. He's not an action figure, is he? He's a Lego model and a pretty freaking impressive one at that. Oh, Lego Voltron! Swish! Does Voltron have a nemesis? I'm gonna give him one. I've decided that your nemesis is Predaking. Look at this, I've got all these spare bits left over. I might make him all sparkly. I'll probably just leave him as he is. He's fine. He's plenty sparkly at present. So thank you so much for joining me. This has been an absolute several day hoot with all kinds of adventures and mistakes and trials and tribulations. I should be doing some more builds in the near future and some reviews and so on. I've got plenty of Gundam and Lego to be getting on with. I also might do some reviews at some point as well. Imagine that. And ultra mega thanks to good old Barry Bosman for sending me this thing utterly unprompted and for absolutely no reason. Good man. And I shall see you very soon for the next one, whatever it may be. And until then, if you wouldn't mind, would you please stay sexy? Be sure to subscribe for more Theo's Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.